I saw this and I didn't really have any. My dad said I should make this into a video, but I didn't really have anything to add. We can listen to it here, actually. Good. What What's are you up, calling Shana? in about? What, yeah. what makes you this. weird? I don't know if I'm actually weird, but I just want to express that I understand society's stigma when it comes to pedophilia. Huh? Pedophilia? Correct. Um, I work with IPCE. If you don't know, that's International Pedophile and Child Emancipation. And our goal is to abolish the stigmatization of people with pedophilic sexual interests and normalizing the potential role in moderating pedophiles' emotional well-being. I know that's a mouthful. So uh, the IPCE is a real thing. I came across it while uh, researching for the NAMBLA video. And originally, I was the NAMBLA video was going to be a whole thing where... Like I say NAMBLA and then here are groups like NAMBLA trying to do the same thing. Again, it's like the same reason I did a separate video with the FBI agent. It just didn't flow correctly and I didn't want the video to take six months to fucking release. So the IPCE, it is, uh, well, it's an organization that kind of exists. I mean, I can just pull up the website here. IPCE started as a forum for people who are engaged in scholarly discussion about the understanding and emancipation of mutual relationships between children or adolescents and adults. In this context, these relationships are intended to be viewed from an unbiased, non-judgmental perspective and in relation to the human rights of both the young and adult partners. In the course of time, their function form of discussion has gradually ended. The remaining result is IPCE as a large library, this website. I can't imagine why the form of discussion has been ended. I can't imagine why. IPCE has had a long discussion about ethics. The conclusion is in terms of concepts, make a distinction between pedophilia, meaning feelings, and pedosexuality, meaning acts. The conclusion in terms of ethics in the statement, first, do no harm, followed by, and do not take the risk. Yeah, it's interesting how this woman says she works with the IPCE. I mean, but I can't seem to... This is another reason I didn't put it in the video, because it seems as if these guys really aren't around anymore. It's the, the latest newsletter was 2011, right? So the IPCE doesn't really exist like she's saying it is. So it's interesting. Oh, here we go, March 2024. I think these are just articles about, you know, ch can children consent and whatnot, but none of it is discussion. So if she's working with the IPCE, she probably is talking about something else. Like there are some other websites that I will not even name because they're horrible, but no, no one works with the IPCE. The IPCE does not exist like she says it does. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know. It just I just thought it was crazy. Wait, the, 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 before okay. we get Listen. any further. What are we saying right now? Yeah, this this is sounds disgusting. Are you saying you're a pedophile? No, I'm not saying that no. I'm a pedophile in the sense that I've never had sexual relations with a person under age. But they, you're uh, saying we should accept pedophiles? That's illegal. Well, I It's interesting. No. <laughs> no, I'm not a pedophile in the sense that I've never had sexual intercourse with someone who's under age. Okay, but are you a pedophile in the other sense where you want to have sex with ch with children? You're attracted to that. She doesn't say that, and I, I wish the hosts here would have clarified that, but they didn't, but we'll listen on. I just don't believe we should be shunning those in our community that have desires to engage in a romantic relationship with someone in a drastically different age group. So you're saying you support pedophiles? I'm saying I support love. I'm saying I support love. Like, I support love, too, but I, I support love between consenting adults. You know what I mean? I think that's I think that's the distinction you have to make. But it's just funny. You know, I'm not a pedophile in the sense that I've had sexual relations with a someone who's underage. Okay, so are you a pedophile in the sense that you like children? And it's like, she says, I support people being able to pursue romantic relationships in a drastically different age group. Again, wording like that is so manipulative. Like me as a 25 year old man, if I wanted to pursue someone who was 70 years old, like sure. Right. But I have enough, like, <laughs> I still think it's weird, but I have enough life experience to know that, um, you know, that this is weird. And if I decided that the, the weirdness is less, 
the the weirdness is less off putting than the love behind it. Then fine, like, you know, I'm a I'm an adult. Like it's 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 my responsibility to know what's best for me. The IPCE, as she talks about it, is about ch children and adolescents with grown adults, right? So the difference between me and let's say a 14 year old, the difference is is that a 14 year old. Not only is it not their responsibility to know what's best for them, I do think for the most part they're incapable just because of a lack of life experience and wisdom. Now, you know, you could say, well, some 14 year olds have been through a lot. You know, some children have to raise their siblings because their parents are so bad. That's true. But that does not mean like the, the sexual and romantic component, like you're still stunted as a 14 year old. A child just does not have the wherewithal to be able to give, like a child can say yes, right? Now, legally, that yes means nothing for good reason, but a child can say yes, right? With the information they have, but it's not an informed decision. You haven't been around long enough to know the impact that this not might, but will have on you in the future. And that's why it's so dangerous. Right? That's why the age of consent is as high as it is. Some places you have it at 16, which bugs me. And like some other countries, like she'll say, have their age of consent at 11. But I, I think I think we nailed it on the 18-year-old thing. Old enough, old enough to know better for the most part. 18-year-olds you know, are still fucking idiots. I'm 25 and I'm still an idiot. I think the, the risk, I think it's less of an impact once you get to that age. Although, I mean, if you're asking me, the age of consent is 21. Okay. And just because America views ages like 18 as some sort of imaginary bar for humans to engage in romantic relationships doesn't mean it's right. So you don't I see mean, anything other, wrong with a 20-year-old dating a 12-year-old? That's not what I'm saying, but listen. But that is what you're saying. That is what you're saying. That's what you said. That's what the IPCE says. Whatever. Whatever, bro. In, in Nigeria, the age of consent is 11. It's 14 in other countries like Brazil, Colombia. If we're taking a month as a country to showcase our pride for other communities of sexual exploration, then I think we should add the letter P, which is just as important as the L, G, B, and T, oh my. et cetera. I don't know if I hammered this down in the Nambla video, and I feel like I should have done a better job with it. Um, but she brings up uh, that we have a whole month dedicated to sexual exploration, and I don't know if that... I don't think that's what pride month is about i think the way i understand pride month is a month about acceptance for sexual orientations and ways of being i am i might get shit for this but i'm a firm believer that actually you know having sex with others or making that transition should be done at an adult age so that's 18 and over you know once you've had time because you know having sex is a big decision I know kids do it. I did it before I was 18. You know, I, I feel like I might be um, talking like as a hypocrite here, but me and other people my age were doing it. And I think, I think that's for I, that, not the majority, but I think a lot of other people are like that. Um, and I think the only saving grace is that there's not this power dynamic going. No one was coaxed into it. I still think it was stupid. And then looking back, Looking back, I think a lot of people would agree with this, but looking back, I think waiting would have been better because I do think sex is one of those intimate, vulnerable things that the longer you wait for it, the better it is overall, the more rewarding, the more fulfilled you are. Now, pedophilia, adding that into the acronym, it, pedophilia is not a form of sexual expression it is a deep it, it is if i said this in the nambla video if you're born with it then it's a defect like legitimately and i know people used to say that about being gay bi lesbian it doesn't matter if you're born with it if this is the case and i don't think i don't i don't know i don't think so but i don't know i'm not a psychologist if you're born with it it's a defect and if it if you're not born with it then it's a choice and it's always wrong and it's always risky and it is still not an orientation. I forgot where I was going with this. This is where I, this is why I need to bullet point these things, but, um, it does not belong. The LGBTQ deals exclusively consenting adults.
But anyway, let's continue. I can't believe this is real. You got to be like making this up to get on the radio yeah, or something. Yeah, I right? almost feel like you're like, yeah, like, I. <laughs> Let me explain a little more. It, you know, if, if more people would take the time to have this actual conversation, then maybe we could abolish the stigma when it, and then we could begin to make a safe environment for this community. Why do you feel so passionately about this? Did you have a, a relationship with somebody much older or younger than you? You seem like... Well, I mean, not in the sense of it being illegal. I have dated both younger and older. But my, again, my, I'm, I'm just coming from a place of believing in love, not necessarily believing in pedophilia. But I think that if we view it's hard to take you seriously when you say that believing in love, not necessarily believing in pedophilia, but when the, on the IPCE website, it is literally about pedophile child emancipation to make it legal. We viewed those in the pedophilic community as normal humans with desires that are different from yours or ours, that we could potentially put an end to dangerous black market, sex trafficking, things like that. Not to mention improving statistics. No, I remember what I was saying. So she says, if we view them as normal people, then we can possibly put an end to illegal black market sex trafficking rings. Best case scenario, what she's getting at is if we destigmatize it, we open up the possibility for these people to find help for their problems, which I don't think this is what she means, but we open the door for people to eat more easily find help for their vile attraction and they're more open and able to do that. And so because of that, if they get help, then we won't have this problem with pedophiles raping and murdering children. What I think she means is it's like the argument for legalized prostitution. This is why I need to do this in bullet point form. I should have been better prepared, but you guys know what I'm getting at if you're watching. Statistics of suicide in the, in the community, if they knew that there was a place where, where their desires and, and, and lifestyle was, and, and maybe you have some kind of a great impact with the mental health community for a lot of people. I'm going to go back to my other question. Oh. So you think that a twenty it's okay for like a 20 year old to be dating a 12 year old. I just think that we need to help release the stigma and let people understand, you know, that they, that they are people too. And I'm not saying that it's acceptable for a 12 year old to be dating a 20 year old necessarily because it's illegal and I can't support something that's illegal. Here we go. Uh, earlier she said, no, I support love when she said, uh, you know, when she brought up the 12 year old versus a 20 year old or in in a relationship with a 20 year old. No, I'm not supporting that because it's illegal. So your heart is in the wrong place. So she says, I'm, I wouldn't support a 12 year old and a 20 year old because it's illegal. But if it wasn't illegal, would you then support it? It's dangerous to give children agency like this. What you need to do is be a good parent so when they're old enough to make these decisions, they make the correct ones. That shows you where Shana's heart is. However, I'm just saying that we need to accept the fact that pedophilia is part of the LGBTQ, et cetera, community. No, it's not. Man, I, I, they, I feel like I have friends in the gay community that would take great offense to that. Yeah, I don't know if they want to be grouped in with what you're trying to do. I mean, their, their whole motto is love is love, right? Love is love. And you can't help who you love. That's all I'm saying. That's yeah, no, I... There's always people trying to fuck up the most innocuous shit. Like, yeah, love is love, but I think what they mean is love is love between consenting adults. Whatever. What, whatever, bro. I'm not really necessarily here for this. Yeah, this uh, conversation makes me sick to my stomach. I think that if you're somebody that not only supports this, but also you seem to be out here fighting for the cause. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get awareness for somebody to like join your fight? That it needs to be understood better. That's all. Ugh. Yeah. Um, Bex, uh, as, a, as a mom, this has no, to like bring you yeah, up. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, I just, I, I, I mean, I, who's I, to decide that 18 is an acceptable age? Somebody just drew an imaginary line in the sand and said, okay, at 18, you can have sex. At 17, you can't. No, but nobody's saying. But you think that saying... your 17-year-old's not having sex, I want. How did we get 18 as the age of consent? I'm interested in that. I, I think the way I understand it, 18. Um, I think the way I understand it, the age of consent was 21 for a while, or at least the voting age was 21. The age of consent being 18, uh, the way to my understanding was kind of arbitrary when it was put into place, but then modern medical and psychological whatever 
um, I was kind of backed up that we kind of nailed it. And if not making it older, we kind of nailed it at 18. Because your brain is developed enough, you've had enough life experience to make choices, to know better, to all these things. So, I don't know. Um, I think to Shana's point, originally, yeah, I can I can see how 18, when we originally done it, was kind of arbitrary. But now that we know better, now that we have more information on what actually is happening at, with the developing body, even into 18, 19, 20, 20 up to 25, we kind of nailed it. I think the original intent arbitrary but we kind of nailed it at uh we kind of nailed it at 18 i think still she might even should be older but whatever in sex then you're wrong and nobody's not and nobody's saying that there's i'm sure there's people of different ages doing that what the concern is is that somebody is a predator who is older preying on somebody who has not the ability to fully you know, make those decisions. Yeah, make those decisions like a ten-year-old. So, like, I understand. I understand that. I'm just saying that we need to help other people understand in the mental health community and the pedophilic community that they're that they're people too. And yeah, that love I, I is just love. feel like you're taking all these like. Yeah, they're still human beings. They've got all the makings of a human being. God loves all of His children, but that doesn't mean we're not sinners, and we don't need to correct for that buzzwords like mental health yeah. and love is love and throwing them onto yeah. something that's disgusting yeah like th th there's no reason why a grown man should be pursuing a nine-year-old sexually like there's absolutely no reason like or a woman in your case which is also surprising to me that a woman is calling yeah. it that I like that he says that. I don't know what that is. That's a weird double standard. Women can be pedophiles too but like you don't you don't see or hear about it that's i've got other thoughts to that but I'd, it'll take too much away yes. i am just trying to be supportive and i'm trying to you know that's to the problem added to the yeah 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 because we keep adding letters right and that's the problem with with you know where we're at right now is that we've blurred the line so much that you actually feel as though i agree with that sentiment we have as a society blurred the lines a lot we've become so accepting to where I think I think we do this to our detriment. I think we do this to our detriment and we need to be very careful about this. But I think what this guy is saying, and it makes sense, um, we, the, the lines have become so blurred and our default is, uh, a lot of people's default has been just accept. It may not seem right to me, but it could be right to them. And we've kind of forgotten to be cautious about this. I don't think there's anything wrong with acceptance, but I think acceptance without caution is uh, interesting. And I think it's to our detriment. Uh, the line has been blurred so much that now we're going forward with things before we fully understand what they are. Um, and I don't just mean here with, you know, uh, like, except like with, uh, with they're talking about LGBT, I don't think we're I'm not talking strictly on that, but like, you know, new medicines, new, like the fucking Terrence Howard thing, fucking new, new math. Like we're going, we're like, okay, full steam ahead before we fully understand the implications. And I, 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 I find myself agreeing with that though that pedophiles have a place on this planet besides being locked up i'm not talking about molestation i'm talking about you are, people that you are, are because love you know? that pedophiles have a place on this planet other than being locked up say it fucking louder for the people in the back love no. and all that doesn't apply when someone is too young to even form the correct scruples in life and how right. to yeah, like, I, I, I feel bad for these two hosts because they're what they're saying is absolutely correct but they weren't expecting this and so they're uh they're not their 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 counter arguments and then their critiques are not as fully fleshed out um but they're still nailing it i should say I agree. I agree. But I'm saying who's to say that that a 12 year old can't be in love with somebody that's older. I'm just saying Where's maybe a 12 year old falls in love with an 18 year old. How, how can you say that a 12 year old cannot be in love with someone who is older than them or an adult? Your brain, your social interactions, your, your, your social wisdom, you have not existed on this earth long enough to be able 
to make those decisions. No, let's use me as an example. Me as a 23-year-old person who was uh, in a relationship with a 25-year-old woman. Because I didn't have a whole lot of reference experience, I didn't fully understand what love is, and I didn't understand what my attachment to this person was going to do to me. A 12-year-old cannot, like, there's, there's, there's heartbreak that happens, there's betrayal, there's lies, there's work you have to do to make a relationship work. And a 12-year-old legitimately does not have the reference experience to be able to handle all of that. But the problem when you're 12 years old is that you're still developing, right? So if you do these things when you are that young, it's, I, I, it seems to me that that's hardwired into your brain as that's how we deal with these things. That's why a 12 year old can't do these things. Where's your line? What do you think is yeah, inappropriate? The line? I'm not I'm not advocating for molestation. I'm not advocating for grooming. I'm advocating for people who have You're not advocating for anything that is the most evil of the evil. You're advocating for evil to a lesser degree. But the way I think the way I think of it is evil is evil. It has to be all evil is evil and you shouldn't advocate for any of it have been in a situation where they're in love with somebody that is of a younger age or of an older age it works both ways do you have and i'm kids? saying that those people i don't no i don't yeah. even feel like you need to have kids no. so. well i just wonder i was going to give her the example of what if her child who's a five-year-old or something like that you had a say you had a 25 year old and a five-year-old in love in your i'm not advocating for that i'm not saying that i'm saying that but a what younger if person in can be in love too but what if well i don't know that I think Shane is a good example. Like even the people who are for this stuff, you know, like publicly, they're not, they're not for it enough to commit to the belief. And so this for NAMBLA, this for IPCE, which again, doesn't really exist anymore. Um, like these, these are the people you have fighting for you. And even they aren't, whoa, I shook my whole room with that. Even they aren't fully committed enough to say, what it is they're fighting for. I don't know that a five-year-old could actually be in love, but well, you're going to say that a 13-year-old can't, a 14-year-old can't. And again, I'm not advocating for molestation. I don't agree with that. I agree with the fact that sometimes people fall into a situation where they don't know that somebody, I'm not, and again, I'm not talking about grooming. I'm just talking about adding pedophilia to the, I mean, they call everybody a, pedoph a pedophile if they're dating somebody who's not of legal age. Yeah. So I just don't feel this argument's going to go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I feel like you're calling from like a phone bank, uh, this ISPCK, whatever. Anyway, so that's that whole thing. I have to use the restroom, uh, and we'll get into some more stuff when I get back. You made it to the end of the video. You should subscribe, or maybe just leave a like. Leave a comment if you please, but I'd rather you subscribe. I check that shit like every day, and when that subscriber number goes up, well, my heart goes up to the sky when you do subscribe.